So I am recording the session. Okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so, uh, so we have discussed uh, all the related thing things uh, with respect to um, ADC and analog to digital converter. Okay. Now we have to talk about uh, a DAC, digital to analog converter. Okay. So I think now you can understand what is a DAC. Okay. So DAC will convert a digital signal into a analog signal. Okay. So normally, if you consider a DAC, okay, digital to analog converter. Okay. So uh, the input should be a digital signal. Okay. Digital signal. Okay. Digital signal means like this, okay? So if the signal is like this, you have to convert this signal using a serial to parallel converter and you can send the bits or send the corresponding voltage values to these pin, okay? Using a serial to parallel converter, okay? So say if you are given a signal here okay so it may be here 5 volt this may be 0 volt 5 volt 0 volt 5 volt like this okay so 5 volt may be represent 1 okay 0 volt may be represent 0 okay this voltage values can be changed okay and also the sign 1 can be changed okay so here i consider 1 as 5 volt and 0 and as 0 volt but sometime in another system, maybe one may be represented using another voltage value, maybe using two plus two, maybe zero represented by minus two voltage, like this. Okay. So already you have this idea. Okay. Anyway, we are given a digital voltage here. That means a few voltage level should be there. Most probably it will be two voltage level. Okay. So you are given two voltage levels to the input of the DAC, okay? You are given, so you give uh, normally two voltage level to the input of the deck, okay? So that will represent, okay? That represent, those uh, voltage uh, levels will represent zero and one, okay? Zero and one, and here, the output you should get a analog voltage value analog voltage value analog voltage value means so here you have only two voltage level five and zero but here your signal amplitude may be changed okay for example it can be changed from zero to five volt okay from zero to five volt so any voltage level can be here Okay, so that is the task of the digital to analog converter. So you are given a digital signal to voltage levels, okay, to the input of the DAC, and you will get an analog voltage as, uh, as the output, okay. So that is the idea of the DAC, okay. So this input voltage pin, okay, number of input voltage pin, also here also referred as a resolution. Okay. So here also, here it is refer, referred as a resolution of a DAC, okay. okay. So there are um, digital to analog converter with, with uh, different resolution, 8-bit resolution, 12-bit resolution, like this, okay. Okay, and there are, uh, so you can see that normally a DAC should be a parallel to parallel to serial converter, okay? Parallel to serial, so, sorry, it's parallel input. It have parallel inputs and it should have a serial output, okay? And sometimes uh, it may have a serial output, serial input, and serial output as well. Uh, the serial, the output should be serious, serial anyway. Okay, so the input can be parallel or serial, okay, as in the case of uh, ADC, analog digital converter, okay. So I think uh, 
now you have uh, idea about this uh, component <clears throat> okay so i hope uh, <coughs> uh, uh, there is no any confusion okay okay so we will move forward okay so uh, i think there are many uh, digital to analog converter commercially available okay so you can uh, check them okay uh, if you want to find the parallel deck okay so you can write it as parallel uh, deck okay so uh, there are you can see that uh, the parallel deck with many resolution okay so here uh, you have input 16 pin and output should be a one pin here input you have parallel eight pin and output should be a one okay so if you use this one okay so i think uh, you can uh, so this uh, this type of uh, decks are available okay so you can get it as a chip okay as an integrated circuit okay so there are many uh, type of uh, parallel deck as well as serial deck okay so if you write here serial deck okay So these are so these are the deck serial decks, okay. Uh, maybe this one. I think it is well. Okay, let's take twelve bit. Yeah, this one. Okay. So I have used this one. Okay. So you can use this. Uh, this uh, analog to digital to analog converter uh, in the Arduino board. So this is uh, this uh, the, this deck supports the Arduino. Okay, so you can uh, directly use this with the Arduino board. Okay, so the uh, there is a library. Okay, so you can see that this is a serial uh, digital to analog converter. Okay, so here you can see that. Uh, this SDA, so that is the serial data. So this is the data input, okay? So the data should be input serially, and this is the output, okay? And you have to provide the, uh, uh, you have to provide the clock here, okay? And also you have to uh, provide the VCC and ground, okay? So then you can uh, do, you can get done your task. Okay, you can convert a digital signal to analog signal using this kind of deck. Okay, so actually this is the deck. Okay, so here you can see a, a small chip piece there. So that is that that is the deck actual deck. Okay, so uh, this type of decks are available commercially. Okay, uh, okay. Now uh, we will see. Okay, so if you want to interface a parallel deck with the uh, let's say that Arduino board, okay? So actually uh, you have to use uh, uh, eight, so if you are using eight bit parallel deck, okay? So you have to input the data to the deck using uh, eight digital pins, okay? Then you can get the uh, input, uh, the output, uh, analog voltage okay so likewise uh, you can interface this uh, uh, deck and a as well as adc with the processor okay uh, so you can do your task okay so uh, if we have time after the exam exam we will try to do some demonstration at the lab okay uh, so before that hmm, we will try to see the implementation of a DAC, okay? So the implementation of a DAC, okay? So there are many implementation 
uh, approach okay implementation approach okay uh, i think most simple most simple implementation is okay implementation is uh, if a sister ladder circuit okay a sister ladder circuit okay actually the, this type of uh, uh, digital to analog converters okay uh, you can use with the arduino board okay so uh, those are working very properly actually okay i have experience i have some experience i have used them okay uh, so uh, so uh, they are working properly okay so you can get the desired output very easily actually okay so we will see how to implement a resistor ladder circuit for digital to analog conversion circuit okay for that okay uh, so let's say that uh, okay so we will try to so we will get example okay we will get example and see how to do this okay so we will try to develop uh, four bit resolution dac with resistor ladder okay resistors land okay so i will tell you the procedure okay so it is very easy actually okay so that means uh, here you have a deck okay so this will be the deck okay four bit resolution means you have four inputs okay you have four inputs okay and you should have one out okay so this should be your analog out let's say that it is VA. okay so uh, <clears throat> uh the input okay so inputs are some voltage level most probably two voltage level that two voltage level will represent a binary value one or zero okay so so if you are given okay so if you are given a binary sequence okay one zero one zero like this to the input okay actually you are giving some voltage value okay maybe five volt zero volt like this okay then you can get the analog output okay so there should be a lsb this significant bit and there should be a more significant bit okay for example if you want to convert this kind of one okay this kind of uh, bit stream to analog voltage okay so this will be a least significant bit and this will be your more significant bit okay so already you know that this has two to the power zero weight this has two to the power one this has two to the power two and this has two to the power three like this okay so we will see how to implement this with the resistive ladder okay so <clears throat> Actually, you can use very simple technique, okay? So you can use four resistors, okay? Four resistors. One, two, three, four resistors, okay? And you can use another resistor here. Okay, we have to run this. Okay, and this will be the VA. Okay, so actually, so if you consider this as a deck, okay, if you consider this as a deck, yeah, okay? if you consider this as a deck, okay, This will be your input pin, okay? This will be your input pin, okay? And some voltage value should be there, okay? Uh, the, that should be a binary voltage value. That means two voltage value, okay? Let's say that this has, um, wait a minute. Okay. Um, okay, so we can start again. Uh, okay, I think everything is okay. Okay, it is recording and uh, you can see my screen also. 
Okay. So, <clears throat> so this will be our input voltage. Okay. Input uh, pin. Okay. So these are the input pin. Okay. And this will be our output pin. Okay. So it will give us the analog voltage. Okay. So uh, I will write this voltage as, okay, I'm not sure. Uh, that, okay, let's I put here V1, V2, V3, and V4. Okay. And here you have the analog voltage. Okay. So this V1, V2, V3, V4 will represent digital voltage level. That means uh, two voltage level. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, I think you can. Uh, so the resistors, uh, let's say that resistors are R1, R2, R3, R4. No, no. Uh, it is better to take, okay, it is better to take like this, okay. So this will be, uh, if you consider this as R, okay, so this will be R by 2, this will be R by 3, and this will be R by 4, okay. So let's take like this, okay, and this resistor should be again, okay, okay. Now we will, uh, okay, now I think you can calculate the VA using V1, V2, and V3, V4, okay, um, uh, <clears throat> by applying basic uh, electrical theories, maybe you can use the Ohm's law, okay, so you can see that if you are given some voltage level, let's say that you have some current with this pin, I1, I2, I3, and I4, okay, so you can see that here also you can get I4, here you can get I4 plus I3, here you can get I4 plus I2 plus I3, and here you get I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4. That is the of flow, no? That is the curve of current flow, okay? So you can use the curve of current flow, okay? and you can use the Ohm's law then, okay? So if you consider this voltage drop, okay. So the this voltage drop will be V1 minus VA. So that will be I1R, okay. And if you consider this voltage drop, so here the voltage is also VA, okay. So you have V2 minus VA, that is I2R by two, V3 by VA, V3 minus VA equal I3 R by 4, this one, here VA, V3 minus VA, I3 R by, this should be 4, sorry, this should be 4 and this should be 8, okay, I'm sorry, this should be 4 and this should be 8, okay, and we have V4 minus VA, so here I'm going to apply the Ohm's law between this terminal, okay, this one and this one. So we have V4 minus VA because this is short circuited, okay. So, so here the voltage is VA, okay. So V4 minus VA is equal to I4 into R by 8, okay. So you can calculate, uh, so, so this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four, okay. So you can calculate, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, I take, um, so I will find I1, okay. So I1 is nothing but V1 minus VA. Uh, okay, I will write this like this, I1 R, okay, and here, you can multiply it with 2, okay? So you have 2V2 minus 2VA is equal to I2R, okay? And here you have 4V3 minus 4VA. You have I3, 4, okay? And here you have 8V4 minus 8VA is equal to 
um, I so R. Okay. So let's say that uh, these are uh, five, six, seven, eight equation. So if I add them together, okay, that means I'm adding this all equation. So I will get V1, okay, so V1 plus 2V2 plus 4V3 plus 8V4 minus, okay, so all this should be added. So you have 12, 12, 14, 15 V8 is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 R. What is this? Okay, so you can see that the current between these resist resistor R is I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4. Okay, so that is the voltage difference between these two terminals. No, so what is the voltage difference between these two no? terminal? So this voltage is VA. So it is VA, no? the voltage difference between this and this, this point and the ground. That is VA. Okay. So this is equal to VA. <clears throat> okay. So you can um, so you can uh, you can write like this V1 plus 2v2 plus 4v3 plus 8v4 plus 15v a is equal to v a so you have to get this other side then you will have 16 v a is equal to this one okay so v a is nothing but v1 plus 2v2 plus 4v3 plus 8v4 and it is divided by 60 okay so now so you can see that you can write this V A S, okay. So this is V one, okay. So it, here it is one, so you can write it as two to the power zero plus here V two, two to the power one plus V three, two to the power two plus V four, two to the power four, okay. Two to the power uh, three, sorry, two to the power three, okay. And it is divided by this is 16, that means 2 to the power 4. Okay, this is 2 to the power 4. Okay, so this is the general equation for V. Okay, so how this uh, act as a uh, digital to analog converter? Okay, so I think you can easily understood that one. Okay, so you can derive this equation. Okay, so you can, uh, so this is, you can see, maybe you can understand that this is, uh, this can be generalized to any number of input or number of resistor. Okay, so if you add some resistor here, R by 16, R by 32, R by uh, 64, so on. Okay, so this equation will be uh, will be applied to any uh, number of resistors, okay? Number of input spins, okay? So it will goes up to, um, so if I write it generally for n pin, okay? So VA will be V1 to the power 0, V2 to the power 1, so on. VN Two to the power n minus one divided by two to the power n. Okay, so this can be generalized to any number of pins. Okay, like this. I think you can understand that. Too, okay. Oh, <clears throat> then the problem is that how this act as a digital to analog one. Not I think you can uh, that one also you can easily understand. Okay, so let's say that so you can see that this v one has two point. Zero weight, 
the v2 has 2 point uh, two, sorry v1 has uh, 2 to the power 0 weight that zero weight v2 has 2 to the power 1 weight v3 has 2 to the power 2 weight v4 has 2 to the power 3 weight okay so that means this has 2 to the power 0 this has 2 to the power 1 this has 2 to the power 2 this has 2 to the power 3 and if you have more this has 2 to the power 4 2 to the power 5 likewise for the n you have 2 to the power n minus 1 okay so you can see that the weights are there okay so uh, for the bit stream this, this is this has the 2 to, 2 to the power 0 weight okay so this will be your lsb okay and uh, this side will be your msb okay so in our example we use four bits okay four input bits okay so this one will be the lsb and this the final v4 bit will be the msp okay so if you are uh, let's say that you are input one zero zero one this kind of uh, bit stream okay let's say that you are input zero 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 one okay so what's happened okay so that means this will be the lsb and this will be the msc so this will be the lsb no? so this v1 pin should be one and other pin should be zero okay so v1 sh should be one means you have to set v1 as five volt okay so i will write it here again okay so your circuit is like this okay Like this, you have V A, okay, and you have a resistor like this, okay. Now, uh, this one V one, V two, V three, V four, and this will be your LSB. This will be your MSB, okay. And uh, so you you want to so if you input the bit zero 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 one, that means zero means let's say that zero volt this is zero volt this is zero volt and this will be five volt okay so all these three pin three pins will be zero volt and this one will be five volt okay so what is the va at that time calculate i think you can calculate okay so v1 is five volt v2 zero v3 zero v4 zero okay so you have five volt divided by 2 to the power 4 60 okay so you have this voltage okay so if your input bit testing is like this what happened 0 0.0011 okay that means this will be the msb that means v4 pin should be 0 volt this is v3 pin should be 0 volt this is v2 pin it should be 5 volt and this is v2 v1 win it should also 5 volt okay so at that time this will be 0 this will be 0 and this will be 5 and this will be 5 okay so at that time what is the va okay, let's say that this is uh, 1 and this is 3 or something okay so v1 5 volt so you have 5 volt here v2 5 volt so 5 volt into 2 that means 10 volt so altogether you have 15 volt but these are zero so it will be 15 volt divided by 16 okay then you can calculate the voltage value for any bit stream let's say that one 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 that means all has five volt all these pin should be have five volt five volt five volt five volts like this okay so So, your analog output will be, so here 5 volt, okay, here 5 volt into 2, that means 10 volt, here 5 volt into 4, that means 20 volt, so you have 5 volt here, you have 10 volt here, you have 20 volt here, 5 into 4, and 5 into 8, that means 40. And it should be divided by 60 okay and what is the value uh, 60 70 75 by 60 okay 
So this will be your maximum voltage actually. This will be your maximum voltage, okay? And what happened all the, uh, so you are sending zero, 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 zero. That means all pin should be zero, zero, zero. V1 should be zero, V2 should be zero, V3 should be zero, V4 should be zero. Then you will have zero, okay? So this will be your maximum output value. And this will be your minimum output value. That means zero. Okay. So your DAC key is given any voltage, voltage uh, level between zero and seventy-five divided by sixty. Okay. So your DAC output range is seventy-five divided by sixteen volt to zero volt. Okay. So you can see that, okay? So it is a digital to analog converter, no? okay? So I think that is very easy, okay? So I will go to the, let me go to the reference book, okay? Okay, so you can see that, okay? So actually this is the circuit we are discussing there. Okay, so this is three bit, three bit resolution that okay, and I think you can easily derive the equation for these circuits. Okay, okay, uh, but uh, you can see that. Okay, so so you can see that when you are implementing this uh, DAC that uh, if you are using uh, several pins. Okay, so the the last resistor will be very low no for example if you are using one two three four five six seven pin your resistor will be r divided by 70 64 okay so that r will be very small compared to this r first time okay so this current will be very high okay? and this current will be very low so there is a current mismatch okay so that is one drawback of this uh, ladder circuit, okay, and uh, there there is another drawback also, okay. Remember that one, okay. So I think uh, you can see, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, these are the drawbacks. You can read them and I think you can understand them by yourself. Okay. I'm not going to read it for you. Okay. So uh, this uh, this ladder circuit has some drawbacks. Okay. But uh, you can modify it, it to this level. Okay. So uh, that drawbacks will be eliminated here. Okay. So here for this one also. Okay. The VA will be like this. Okay, the VA will be like this. Okay, I think this one also you can get using uh, uh, basic electrical theory, but uh, the, it it will be somewhat complex because uh, we are using the intermediate resistor here. Okay, and you can see that uh, when you are using intermediate resistor, this VA is not here. No, the voltage is voltage here is not VA. It is different. Okay. So you have to use the Ohm's law for every terminals, okay? And you have to use the Kirchhoff laws also, current, Kirchhoff current law and Kirchhoff voltage law maybe, okay? And I think you can uh, derive this one also by yourself, okay? Because it is uh, related with the electrical, okay, electricity actually, okay? So I think you can get that uh, uh, derivation, Okay, so if you can't get this derivation, please ask me and I will do it for you. Okay, so please try to do this derivation by yourself. Okay, please try to get this value by yourself. Okay, most probably in your exam, this kind of circuit will come. Okay. Uh, okay, and here also you can see that based on this weightage, okay, you can you can identify the least significant and more significant bit, okay? So V1 has the lowest weight, one, and V2 has two like this, okay? So V1 is the lowest significant bit, and V2 
this one will be the most significant bit, okay actually i use this ladder circuit with the arduino okay so it is uh, uh, properly it was properly working with the audio audio uh, audio frequency in the audio frequency range less than three kilohertz okay so it is properly work capture okay so uh so i think uh so you can see that this is a four bit counter okay it's a four bit counter okay for example <clears throat> if you are given one 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 okay bit screen that means uh, so this will be the lsb and this will be the msb okay so lsb is here okay so you have to write it other way around okay so this is lsb and this will be msb okay and this will be five volt this will be five volt this will be five volt and this will be five volt okay so if you are if you are using five volt uh, the same voltage value is there no okay if you are using this circuit also the voltage value will be 75 divided by 16 okay volt okay and if you are using one zero 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 like this okay so this will be msb and this will be lsb okay so this will be zero this will be zero 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 one okay because this is the msb you have to write it other way around okay and so here you zero volt you have to use here zero volt here zero volt and here you are using five volt okay so here zero 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 here five volt five into eight that means you have 40 and divided by 16 okay so for this bit history okay, you are given 16 divided by 40 40 divided by 16 voltage value okay and i think uh, you can do it by yourself okay okay so uh so you can uh, so you can do this okay so there are 16 combination 0 0 0 1 0 0 uh, 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 like this okay so you have 16 combination okay 16 combination so you can find the voltage values for all these 16 combination okay so it is very easy okay so you can do that one okay actually there are many other implementations are uh, there okay but i think we don't have much time to go through all the implementation okay anyway so this is the complete uh, block diagram of a digital to analog converter okay so you can check it okay and you can see that uh, there are many chips available and there are some parameters also okay but i think uh, we don't have much time to discuss all the things okay uh okay so i think uh, our exam will be held on second january no second january okay so i think we have completed okay we have completed lo1 lo2 lo4 okay we we didn't complete the lo3 okay actually uh my fault is also there okay uh, we miss some classes no both of both of have faults no okay so sometimes you cancel the lecture and i think you, i think I, as i can remember uh, two times or three times we have to cancel the lecture because of your some work you you have to do some labs and you have a cricket match or something okay uh, and I think I also, uh, I can't remember, uh, maybe I also, due to my work, uh, maybe I have, in my side also, we have to, I have to, I had to cancel some lecture due to my private work, but I have rescheduled, I have arranged a additional session, I hope, for that one, okay? Anyway. We couldn't complete this LO3, okay? So this is very important part, actually, that is uh, related with the programmable logic device, okay? 
So we have some EEPROM, we have some processing board like FPGA, okay? So we have to study on these things, okay? So after the exam, okay, I will take uh, two or three weeks, two or three, uh, that means at least six hours, six hours after the exam, I will take this six hours and I will do that part, okay? Because that will be very important for your project work, okay? So I will be do that after the exam, okay? Anyway, I am not uh, uh, actually, I didn't hope to give you exam question from this part, okay? LO3 part, I hope to give you assignment, okay? I hope to give you assignment you see in this LO3 part, uh, some kind of little project, okay? To develop analog to digital converter in FPGO like this, okay? Develop ADC in uh, FPGA, okay? This kind of assignment or task I want to give you, okay? And after the exam, we after doing this lecture, we will try to do this one also, okay? So it will be very important for you, I hope. And maybe we can calculate that marks for the final examination, final grade also, okay? So we will try to do like this, okay? So for your exam, you will be given from LO1, LO2, and LO4, okay? Definitely, okay? So in LO1, we have learned uh, Queen Mac, Plus key method, okay. Okay, please try to refer that one and refresh your knowledge, okay. So uh, we have evaluated sum of product and product of sum, okay. Please see the procedure. Uh, so your exam will be open book test, okay. So you can refer the book, okay. Uh, so you have to use the queen next class method then you have to calculate or simplify your boolean expression maybe okay then uh, we have learned about counters and registers okay so please uh, do you uh, so i have given some question okay in mid mid exam also i have given some question with respect to counters and registers okay so I hope uh, you have to refer that one also, okay? So if you can do that kind of question, you will be able to do the exam question also, okay? And counters register related questions are there. So I think you have to, you can memorize and you can try to do that one, mid exam one, okay? Then I think you can, uh, the same type of question will come, okay? The, the paper is very easy, okay? Uh, so that is related with the LO1, okay? And with the LO2 also, okay? So I think LO in under LO2, we have studies about logic families, okay? We have studies about logic family, I think four, no, five, yeah, five. This is LO2 actually, okay? So we have studied about different logic family, okay? Uh, and I think this part is the most important part, okay? So we have studied some characteristic parameters, okay? Especially this one, okay? This high level input current, low level input current like this, okay? So these parameters, okay? So you should have idea about this parameter. You no need to keep remember, you can refer this book, okay? So you no need to, Keep remember, okay? And there are many parameters actually, okay? So I think uh, maybe you have to, uh, so I think uh, in our lab, uh, we have tried to develop a TDM, uh, the time division multiplexer, no? But the, the simulation part is okay, it is working. But the implementation part, you couldn't complete that part, no? Okay, because uh, uh, under this, uh, under that assignment, under that project, you have developed a counter and you have developed a uh, time also to give the clock signal, okay? So uh, the I think timer is working, no? But the counter doesn't work, okay? 
So I I told you what is the reason, okay? What is the reason, okay? Using this noise margin, okay? So I think you should uh, you should know these things, okay? When you are doing the design, okay? So this knowledge is very important, okay? So please refer this one and try to. Uh, so you you should be able to explain that kind of situation using uh, these parameters, especially with the noise margin, okay? And I think uh, this kind of very simple question, Lisa, okay? So I think uh, you should be able to do that kind of questions also, okay? Mm. So that's it, okay? Uh, that is under LO2 and LO3 you will not get, okay? And under LO4, you may be, you have to design a deck, okay? And using the resistor ladder, okay? Most probably you will get the second uh, one, second the modified resistor ladder, okay? Uh, with the intermediate resistance, okay? So you should be familiar with that circuit and you have to design uh, an digital converter also, okay? So we have designed two or three analog digital converter. Okay, so you have to uh, familiar with this step, those step. Okay, then I think you can uh, uh, do the exam very well without a problem. Okay, so we will stop here. Okay, but this will not be our last lecture actually. Okay, because we have to do, we have to cover another learning outcome okay so after the exam at the free time period we will do that one okay okay so <clears throat> all the best okay so please go through my lectures okay so uh, you will so you you will not get any additional things okay so the, the if you have referred the lectures very well you can answer the question okay 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 thank you and uh, good luck